evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into worlds, into realms, into lands, well travelled and not travelled at all at this point. Yes, my friends, we continue our journey into the world of, well, I get ahead of myself, don't I? Hey, and to each, well, first of all, hail Stray Girl, and to each and every one of you, be your chat, be you a lurker. Welcome. For those of you who couldn't join us on the afternoon stream, we ventured forth across the land of Hyrule. We admittedly wasted about 30 to 40 minutes of trying to get 3,000 feet into the air to look at a island that had absolutely nothing for us to do, and yeah, we wasted a bit of time there, but it was an important object for science. And then we ventured across, killed some goblins that... Coblins, not goblins. Well, I suppose they're goblins, but, but we killed some bacoblins, uh, harvested the bits and pieces for upgrading armor, upgraded some armor, and then went into the great, into the Kokori woods and met the great Deku tree, who has a stomach ache, and all the other Koroks are currently in a coma. So, fun. Also, hell, Kev, hell, ask me to continue. Welcome. So, with that said, come. Join me as we once more step forth into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse our world. Let's try that again, shall we? Come, join me as we once more step forth into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm, the legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and always the switch still needs to be turned. So let's go, shall we? Boop. Oh. Yes. Nope. Hello. Are you up? Are you on? I'm looking in the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ah, no! Wrong one. <laughs> no, I was playing Ace Attorney. There we go. Aha! I love this song. Type of potions. Really good. There we go. You might as well stream Ace Attorney sometime. You know what? I will one day when I've got a voice changer, because otherwise all the female voices will kill my vocal cords. We will play Ace Attorney. We'll do a trilogy. We'll do a run of the uh, the trilogy. Oh, trilogies! I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I need a voice changer before I do that. I also need to change over my monitor to my Switch because otherwise I'm playing everything through the little preview window in OBS, which I'm sure I could do. But I have to then stare at my face throughout the entirety. And why would anyone want to do that? Wham wham, wham wham. Well, at least this explains why Hetsu is currently hiding out in Lookout Landing. He's decided he isn't interested in whatever is going on in Kokori Forest. Hmm. I might equip a different shield here. Deku Tree Chasm. Alright, let's see what we've got down here then. Also, it does occur to me that we have just jumped into the guts of the Great Deku Tree, and that's slightly unfortunate. Oh, good lord, we're back in Ocarina of Time. Is it a temple? Okay! Oh, you gone stupid, stupid man! Go away! And away with you! And away with you! Right, well, no guess what happens next. Uh, right, this is going to be interesting. Owie. 
hitting my shield. There we go. Well, that was certainly an interesting development. <laughs> That, that would explain why I saw the gloom hands on the dungeon map. Then, yeah. Well, we did a thing. And, um... Oh, look! Torox. Yay! Do I get a seed? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The great Deku Tree is waiting for you in the Kokori Forest, even though you're stood in his bowels. The Deku Tree has had too many takeaways. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right. Demon King Bow. Uh, dark Clumps. Well, don't think about it. And that. Okay. What can we swap that for? Knight's Broadsword can be swapped for a Gloom Sword that I really need to get cleaned. But I need an Octorok for that. Um, do we think that's a one-time mini-boss, or do we think that's one that we can just continuously come back and fight? Yeah, I should probably mark it as done on the dungeon map anyway. Also, Hail Hudlum, welcome. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment, actually. I was, I got it earlier, and I was thinking, Ooh, are they going to have us do... Forest Temple? No, apparently not. The Forest Temple consists of basically jumping into the Deku Tree's stomach and killing a Phantom Ganon. Good to know. Right, well, there's stuff here. I, I want to... There's a ledge. Surely there is something to do with this ledge. Or the ledge above it. Uh -uh. No, just a magic bean. Not much to do down here, is there? Oh, that's why that's there. It's so I can use this to get up. Hello. Since the lost woods returned back to normal, I was able to make it back. Karak first is so peaceful, huh? By the way, have you seen the Karak named Oki? Oh, you don't even know who Oki is, huh? Hmm, I wonder where he went. Maybe he's hiding in the great Deku Tree's mouth? Why would he be hiding in the Deku Tree's mouth? If you want to know where his mouth is, it's just right above the spore spot. Spore store. Of course it is. Good, thank you. What the heck did I just talk? <coughs> You better get something good for this. Well, I'm hoping I get something good for this. Though in Furnace, it wasn't particularly an arduous thing. I basically turned up and fought Phantom Ganon, which, as we have learned, I have done 50 times before. <laughs> He's no longer really a threat. The Gloom Hands, kind of, because I might blow myself up, but him, not so much. Welcome to the Star Spore. Spore Store! Store! My shrooms are delicious, superlative, but they are never malicious. I got them from a man named Kajima. He gave them to me on a trip to Camarocho many moons ago. He even had a song about them. I can't remember the song, but I remember the mushrooms, the magical mighty mushrooms. You should go talk to Kajima and buy some mushrooms. He's apparently an Italian chef now. <laughs> Whoever wants mushrooms, Kashima's your man. You know where to find me. I should probably make sure I didn't peek the microphone there. Oh well. Well, look who we have here. Hello, Mr. Hero, and welcome back to the general store. Please, buy whatever you want. Okay. <coughs> I'll take all of that. Oh. 
<laughs> did, did they just record a bunch of toddlers for these voices? I'll buy the cane sugar. I'm not buying a single apple. I've got about 50,000 of them. So you unlock a shop. I unlock a shop and whatever it is the Deku Tree wants to tell me. Probably wax lyrical about the calamity of Hyrule. I hope I get at least a cutscene out of it. And I've already got the Master Sword, so... Oh, we need some Bright Blooms. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, fine. Um... Buy whatever you want. Fine. No, I want that stump you're standing on. <laughs> Not my stump, please. It's all I have. <laughs> what do Koroks need with rupees, by the way? I mean, these are very cheap, but what do they need with rupees? To the great Neku Tree's navel. You can sleep. So, 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 oh, great. We weren't in his stomach then. We were in his intestines. Oh, never mind. Or his coat. No, I'm not even going there. Right. You can sleep serenely here, drinking in the sweet forest air. Take as long as you like with your yawns and your Z's. How much? Oh, I don't want your rupees. You're the great Mr. Hero. Take as long as you like yawns and your Z's. Okay. Oh. I will snooze till morning. The great Deku Tree will be fine. They aren't that cheap. <laughs> Payment for Netflix. Really, chat? Really? Uh, uh, oh, actually. The blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. This at least means we can answer the question of does the... Calamity Ganon, uh, not Calamity Ganon, the Phantom Ganon in the Deku Tree respawn. Ooh, got a statue. Well, I've not got enough, so we'll go that back there in a bit. I take it that that was just a one-time boss fight. Oh well, right, I'll take that off the map then, no point keeping that there. But instead of buying a house, they're too busy spending money on Netflix. No. Instead of doing either of those things, they're too busy hiding like little wazics across the entirety of high. What? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, it's because I was in the depths. Careful. They were too busy hiding across the entirety of Hyrule under rocks and strange puzzles and many wily things. Ready to destroy the universe. I mean, torment poor completionists. Ah, crap, he's back. Hi, Hatsu. We meet again. It's been a while, huh? No, it hasn't. I finally made it home to Kagori Forest. Did you? told me that icky stuff floating in the air was making things weird around here. Check out! Yeah. I'm so happy it's gone that everyone is better now. Oh, do you have a Korok seed? Do, you do, you do have a Korok seed from the forest children. Yes, we do. Yay, go us. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your... Yes, I know. Right, um, weapon, bow... Bow stash? Ah, uh, never mind. Shield stash. Yes. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, I do admit, I like the dance in this game. Right, two more shield slots, and we should have maximum shields. Right. Nope, not hard enough. Not unless you want to expand it for eight seeds. Um. Also, whereas Kakaraku has very much faltered in terms of its frame rate, Kakori Forest seems to be working. So what have the devs done? They've basically killed Kakaraku and fixed the Kakori Forest. A note from Maka. Okay. Just climb into the tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise you I won't it won't eat you. Uh okay. Ah, then again, I think what they might have done is they've got rid of all oh no, there's still Kakor Koroks floating around. I don't know, maybe they'd cut down on the assets in the area. That might have freed up a bit of the video memory. Hello! My head is still fuzzy. Oh, you hang on. No, no, I don't know what are you doing here? My yes, my nose is growing out of my eye socket. How did you notice? And I mean, oh, yes, 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 now I remember. It's all happened so suddenly. Great Deku Tree was in agony, and ominous fog came out of his mouth. And then a bunch of Guskarak started acting funny. Not ha ha funny, but instead very creepy. They started laughing maniacally and saying, Kill your chan! It was all very weird. <laughs> Next thing I knew, monsters showed up, and I fought the Dubai. Fought them all by myself. Yes, I did. I took them to fisticuffs. I got out a big hammer and I hit them over the head several times before this blue hedgehog appeared and punched them in the face for some reason. Then this random man with a funny moustache jumped into the earth, said woohoo, and then slapped one across the face with a go-kart of all things. It was all a very interesting situation, I must admit. And then there was a man called Kashima with mushrooms. And I ate one of the mushrooms and I saw all the colours of the vortex. Well, that's what we're here for. Anyway, next thing I knew, monsters showed up. And I fought them all by myself, apart from all those people I just mentioned. Knocking them out one by one, apart from those people I just mentioned. Seriously, he used a go-kart. And, um, sorry, I lied. Actually, I couldn't move, and I don't remember what happened. Oh, it was all so sudden. I don't know if any of the other remember either of the things or the remembering of the things. But thanks to you, Mr. Hero, everyone is back to normal. Yay! Yay! <clears throat> I'm sure the great Deku Tree wants to say thank you too. You should go. Oh, you already met up. The great Deku Tree has been alive much longer than us Koroks. And he's kind of stoic and doesn't always show his feelings. But I'm sure he's thankful and happy for what you did. And so am I! <laughs> and if you've got a favour to ask, some of the Koroks here could use your help. Follow the lights of the forest. If you do, you'll come across different products that you can use to help you. Please go and find them and see what they need. Right, now we will go and talk to the great Deku Tree and see what great and wise words he has to bestow upon us. Or maybe he's equally as insane as that Korok we just talked to. Who knows? Also, wait, this... for a minute there, I thought there were two statues of the goddess. There isn't, it's just a goddess-shaped rock. I think they made the run up to the Deku Tree shorter in this one. Hello! <laughs> did I call it or did I call it? Right. Ah, so it is you. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Though did you really have to use explosives? Thank you, all the same. No, he's actually got eyes. Huh. 
I always thought he just like had he was like Brock, he just like squinted all the time. It has been some time since we last spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes. The last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. Ah, well, so basically... We got to the end of Breath of the Wild, and then Link came back and put the Master Sword back in its pedestal. And then they came back again to get the Master Sword before exploring into the depths of the castle. So... Okay. Sure! I, I, I kind of makes sense? No, it doesn't actually. Why? Why did they go... I, I understand why they put the Master Sword back in the pedestal, because the Calamity was gone, so you would return the sword back to its resting place until the next hero needs it. But what indicated that they would need the Master Sword to go into the depths of Hyrule Castle in the first place? I assumed Link had just kept the sword, because there was still work to do saving Hyrule after the Calamity was gone, but apparently not. Apparently they did return it, and then they collected it again, because, I don't know, they knew Ganon was... Oh, never mind. They just want. They just did that so we could have some fancy thing with the master sword broke, didn't they? Not a case of we go and get the ma drop the master sword off and then come back with the master sword. No, that would be too easy. Ah, uh, well, right. That's all this. All you needed was some gander scum. Yeah, fair enough. Or a better, uh, or a better product. Ganon's. Oh dear, Ganon's son. No, no, hold on, no. Worth a bit of indigestion. <laughs> Uh, nope, just done massive eyebrows to cover his eyes except in Wind Waker. Fair enough. Pun of the day from me. Yes. Yes, it was the pun of the day. Thank you, Chas. I really needed to know, have a Gaviscon pun around based around Ganondorf. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, cutscene time. It is good to see you. Why does he still have the scabbard? Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Oh! Oh, Link. Draw it once more. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what? Deku Tree, thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. The Master Sword. <coughs> That's why it's my favourite weapon in any game. Well, okay. Yeah, it runs out of energy, though. <laughs> okay. I retract my previous comments. That makes sense. So, the Master Sword was damaged, and after 100, 100 years restoring in the Kokori Forest... It... No, actually, it bloody doesn't... Right, so... Basically, what the game is saying, and once again, Nintendo are basically just wiping out entire chunks of lore. The Master Sword got damaged in Breath of the Wild, before Breath of the Wild. Hundred years passed, with the Master Sword in its pedestal healing itself. Fair enough. Then we went through the trial of the sword, to which the Master Sword's power was then fully restored. Then we fought Calamity Ganon. 
the Master Sword got damaged again? Or was it not actually fully restored in the first place? Was the Trial of the Sword not actually a thing? Canonically, is it not canon that we did the trial that the trial of the sword was a thing? Because it makes sense if it isn't canon. It annoys me because we went through a lot of faff to do it. But if the trial of the sword isn't canon, then basically it works out. The master sword got damaged uh, during the calamity. It then restored over, healed over a hundred years in the Kokori Forest, a Korok Forest, at whatever the Sacred Grove. Then Link took the sword which was still damaged, hence why it lost its power, and kept losing its power even, and then fought Calamity Ganon, after which they re he and Zelda returned the Master Sword to the Kokori Forest for a few more years, just so it could repair itself and heal fully. Fine. Then they went off, then they came back, pulled it, marvellous, Master Sword is now stronger because it's been bathed in sacred light for a couple of years, or at least a bit stronger. It's, it's healed and maybe got a bit stronger. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Sorry, I'm working for a thought process here. It healed, so it was back to its full strength. But then we encountered Ganondorf under the castle and he destroyed the blade because it wasn't strong enough. It's... Ignoring that... The Master Sword then got Zelda then, for some reason, embedded the... Well, not for some reason. Zelda, having met the Dragon of Light, we'll probably see that cutscene at some point, then entrusted the Master Sword to the Dragon of Light, a being of sacred power, and then over... more than 10,000 years, apparently, the Master Sword was in the Dragon's Head collecting divine power and growing stronger and stronger, which now means that if we do face, well, when we finally face off against Ganondorf again, the Master Sword will not break because it is now Super Saiyan God Mode Master Sword. Sure. However, it was a blade forged in the power of the three golden goddesses and blessed by a demigoddess and an angry desert man with the power of a shiny stone destroyed it. All I can conclude is actually in this timeline, in this canon, the Master Sword was not tempered in the flames of the Golden Goddesses, but in fact was just created, willed into existence by the Goddess Hylia. And there was no Skyward Sword, and no great hero, but doesn't explain why we have the Hero of Link, but whatever, so there's some of the jiggery-pokery going on there. And... <laughs> bollocks. It's all bollocks. I mean, okay, fair enough. I appreciate the effort to work into the lore, the Master Sword getting stronger, and I do like that, and I love that cutscene if I don't think about it. But still, it irks me. <laughs> it really irks me. But right, fine. So it's the true Master Sword, and it is a blade that continues to get stronger. Side point, already raised by chat, I, I, I bring up. If the Master Sword has spent countless millennia in the head of a divine dragon, getting stronger and more powerful. Why does it run out of power? Why does it run out of power? Why does it get tired? Tell me, game. Why? Why doesn't it always shine with a divine light? You did it in... You're building up for another trial of the sword, aren't you? Six months time, we'll probably have, oh, you can do this Trial of the Sword DLC and you can unlock the Master Sword's true power and it will be divine for all eternity. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. This annoys me. And somehow ended up in the dragon's head. Religion, <laughs> religion fails you. 
Nintendo fails me. Um, it wasn't in the dragon for 10,000 years. Two years since Breath of the Wild. Ah! But the last person who had the sword... No, because at the start of the game, when we get into the Temple of Time, the Master Sword went... Well, Fee went... And then we handed the, the Master Sword somehow through the realms of time and space to Zelda, who was in the ancient past. The ancient, ancient past, more than 10,000 years ago. Much more into the land of the first king of Hyrule. So, the Master Sword was embedded in the dragon's head for ten, more than 10,000 years. For millennia, countless millennia, eons even, the Master Sword was buried in this divine dragon's skull. Gathering power, rebuilding itself. Look, it managed to fill up all of the scars and damage in 100 years. We saw what the Master Sword looked like at the, in Breath of the Wild. The, the, in the, you know, pre clamty if it took 100 years for it to seal up those wounds, then to rebuild its blade would probably take maybe 2,000 years, 5,000 years. That's still less than 10. So, you, so you're telling me that it was the damage was so extensive that it took eons to get the Master Sword back to where it was at the start of the game. Even though Zelda said in the cutscene, the Master Sword is stronger now, it will be able to defeat Ganondorf so long as you two are together. It's just, no, oh, okay, fine then. So no, the Master Sword is only strong in terms of the story, not in terms of the gameplay. Thank you, you utter wazzocks. I'm exceedingly salty about this, I'm sure you can tell. Right. I love watching the gra gradual evolution of these theories as he finds out more. Yeah, pretty much. I I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the theory crafting. Uh, maybe I should make a separate YouTube channel where I just talk about Zelda theories all day. Actually, no, I think there's plenty of them out there. Uh, was the Sword of Evil's Bane now the Sword of Evil's Inconvenience? Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty accurate. Anyway, <clears throat> back to my best tree beard impression. You. You appear to be faced with trouble once more. But I see you have produced the Master Sword. I mean, procured the Master Sword. Sorry, I am still very sleepy. Hmm. That sword, I sense a sacred power within it that is stronger than before. What has come to pass? Mm, take heed and do not rely solely upon the power of that sword. You must steal your mind and spirit as well. I am always here. Should you ever have need of me, who only ask? Recovering the hero's sword. Recovering the hero's sword <laughs> is an easy one. 20 damage equals most powerful weapon ever created. Still funny to me how weak it is. It's base damage at 20! No! No! I'm done! No! 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 Well, we've come this far. Yeah, that's why I used parts to upgrade it. 20 and 30 are both bad base damage. 20 and 30 are both absolutely sh Words I will not say on this stream. It's the Master Sword. It is the Blade of Evil's... It's the Divine Blade. It is the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the sword that slew Ganondorf. Multiple times. It is the blade that slew Ganon multiple times. And you're telling me that it is the... the, the, the you... I, 
really, really hate what they do with this. Oh, they sew up their own backsides with the love of the weapon degradation system. That they go, oh wow, we won't give you an ultra-powerful legendary sword. Oh no, no. You have to use the stuff you find out in the world. <sighs> right, okay, anyway. We have a couple of redeems. So first of all, and praise in honor of the mighty Grey Girl, as requested by Saint Kev of the last minutes of continue. My friends, we must give pause and hail in the name of the mighty Stray One. In the words of the most noble prophet of Gary's, yes, the FBI are coming after me. I don't know what I'm doing. The vending machine is telling me weird numbers. But oh, yeah, we forget his letters. There's letters upon the streets of Night City on the corners of the world as he stood and proclaimed the joyous news, the noise of the techno-necromancers, the vampiric overlords, the werewolf servants who are less than Less and less, but not as less as the scriptwriters of this game, because good lord, this is really annoying. But yes, my friends, they hear the words, they proclaim the words in the highest levels of the reaches of the realm of the world of the vortex, they call and cry the words, the mighty words, the words of power, the words of Alpha and Right, also, I've left my hit flask over here now. Yeah. Also, cheers, stray girl. And hail. Yeah, it'll all reverse it, either way. I can't even say these words. Auto mod won't let me. <laughs> no. Maybe take the whiskey first. No, it's fine. I think he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> right. We have things to do. Young one, it seems you have met. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Young one, uh, it seems you have met with the great dragon once more. Yet I see that you carry the master sword. Make good use of it. I am always here. Blah, 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 blah. Wait a minute. Am I imagining things, or in Breath of the Wild was there like some steps up onto the pedestal? Oh wait, no they are. No, oh, never mind, no, I'm not imagining it. They are... What? Yep, yeah, no, that works. Hmm. <clears throat> okay then. Right, let's go and do some Korok Seeds, and I also need to find the tower for this place. I should probably also switch to a... no, not a different sword. Uh, switch to a different bow. Demon King bow, sure. Cannot pass. I am the Korok of the Sacred Flame. <coughs> I mean, hey. Oh, good, Bennett. What was that? <laughs> hey, no going past here. Oh, you're a human. Well, since you're not a Korok, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's this thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I keep wanting to go and check it out again. You know that thing that showed up in the Korok Forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. Who is that Korok? Uh, wait, who is that Korok to stop you? Ah, I don't know. Maybe you'll hit me over the head with a leaf, a, a scurry, scurry leaf. Look, Link is literally sweating in terror. <clears throat> when I tried to go back to it, there was a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Tree monsters and bone monsters, so I'm keeping guard here to warn of Koroks about the real dangers. Yeah. But I'm not about to stop any Hillian who's, uh, who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Oh, and the flowers are there to help keep you from getting lost, so don't go picking them. Oh, okay. None shall pass. <laughs> 